All right, so here's the deal. I have a friend that follows me everywhere. And my friend's name is Fear. A lot of times Fear will visit me at home. And most often she'll come in and interrupt me when I'm in the middle of something important. And while I do consider her a friend, sometimes fear can be a little distracting. It's not the best to admit, but I'm honestly not always in the mood to engage with her. So sometimes I try and kind of escape. Every now and then it'll work for a little while, but if there's one thing I know for sure about fear, it's that she's persistent. And so I'll wind up spending more time with her, doing whatever it is she wants to do. But I'm actually okay with that. Because through and through, fear has been a consistent companion to me, especially in this new phase of my life as I get more and more into mountaineering. She keeps track of the weather and helps me make decisions. She reminds me to let someone know where I'm going and when I'll be back. And honestly, I wouldn't feel safe out there if she wasn't with me. But then once I've had my adventure and I make it home safe and sound, for whatever reason, she stays with me. And this is where she can kind of get on my nerves. When I'm trying to be at peace, she'll remind me of all the things that could happen, all the ways it could fall apart. But even so, I continue to invite her with me no matter where I go. So with that context in mind, you now know why I allowed Fear to join me and my friends on a little mountaineering expedition we took a couple weeks ago. We're in a very special, special place. Um, doing this super gnarly rock traverse across this uh, ridge line up here. And I have never done it before, but I hear it's uh, a little testy. The top is narrow. It's pretty exposed and super loose rock. I did it a few weeks ago and had my mind like, yeah, I don't know if I'll ever come do this thing again. <laughs> I got pretty spooked. Dang, we got to come up with a name for this place that isn't actually where it is. Yeah. We're at a... Uh... <laughs> Spooky Rock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's Spooky Rock. At the beginning of the expedition, I don't think any of us were certain whether or not fear would even show up. It started pretty straightforward, but the higher you got, the more you realized every single rock was loose. And the trick was to find rocks that were sturdy enough that the weight of a human body wouldn't knock it all the way loose. There were definitely certain sections on the ascent where you really had to get that part right. Nice, dude. And luckily for the first half, we did. All right, let's just go up that. Yep. <laughs> no big deal. The higher we got, the higher the consequences of a mistake became. But even so, we continued to move slowly and carefully And after what felt like a long time, we made it to the top. Wow, (laughs) that is spectacular. As beautiful as this first checkpoint was, it wasn't actually the final destination. We still had the real scary part ahead of us. The spine that traverses over to the second summit was the real mission at hand. And me and the boys, we were ready for it. But before I show you the part of the journey that Fear showed up for, I want to tell you about another part of my life that she's very significant in. I've been on the verge of giving up every instrument I've ever tried, basically every time I try an instrument. I want to be the kind of person that's not afraid to sing and play an instrument in front of people, but the truth is, I just am. Even when I practice at home, I'm worried I'll play so badly that someone upstairs in the coffee shop I live beneath will hear me and go. Even though I know this fear isn't super rational, it really does stop me from doing something I think I could love. 
And for that reason, I've been particularly inspired by this artist that didn't care about his singing voice and was not afraid to get his work out there. Time and time again, when I need encouragement and motivation, I find myself listening to the music of Daniel Johnston. When I got to Austin and I was working at McDonald's, you know, I used to hang out, hand out lots of tapes, and, you know, I'd make tapes for my friends and stuff. I really, that, that was really the, the best slice of life I experienced because of all my friends and because my friends made me feel like I was famous. They, uh-huh. they wanted me to play the songs for them, I made them all tapes. Uh-huh. They made, you know, I felt more famous then than I do now. Even though he achieved fame and recognition, he was still no stranger to fear. One time when asked an innocent question about whether he was proud of a mural he painted, this was his answer. Well, it, you just never know, you know. My life is like a, a road with no turn off. Uh-huh. You know, I'm, I'm heading down that road to my own death. <laughs> There's no, there's no return. Yeah. See, even though in his lifetime, Daniel Johnston suffered from conditions such as bipolar disorder and schizophrenia, it didn't stop him from singing. And because it didn't stop him, his music has been covered by Lana Del Rey, Wilco, and The Flaming Lips, just to name a few. And as for me, a beginner mountaineer that is absolutely petrified of playing guitar and singing in front of other people, I also recorded a Daniel Johnston song. And Fear didn't even win the argument when she tried to talk me out of it. I think it's important for me to repeat the fact that Fear is my friend. True love will find you in the end. But if it's not obvious by now, our relationship is messy. She frustrates me, and I don't always treat her with enough respect. It's not perfect, but we're working through it. That's so scary. (laughs) Wow, that's really scary. (laughs) (laughs) Don't give up until true love will find you in the end. I've actually started to notice that the more time I spend with fear, the better our relationship becomes. I help her keep things a little more lighthearted, and in return, she shows me some of the most beautiful, breathtaking things I've ever seen. Will it find you? I think experiencing fear is such a special thing because it reveals the cracks in the human experience that we try so hard to cover up. A rock could break loose, you could sing out a tune, and you could struggle with schizophrenia. Don't be sad, I know you will. And when fear reminds you of these very real things, we are gifted with a beautiful opportunity to look her directly in the eyes and say to her, from the center of my fragile and cautious heart, I love you anyway.